All right, welcome back to Persona 3 Portable. We are currently just done with exams and we have a lot to do because we're gonna be going on the Yakushima trip today, which is going to be interesting probably. Your post-exam break begins today. So we have one day to kind of spend our time doing whatever we want. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head out to the Naganaki Shrine and we're gonna pull an Oracle for uh, someone outside of school and we're going to do the online gamer. So let's see what we get here. Divine message says, today's luck is you will have a little luck. You will not be significantly lucky or unlucky with money. All right, we found 500 yen, woo. All right, so also today I'm gonna head out to Polonia Mall and we're going to head into the club escapade in order to hang with the monk. You're late, I was just about to leave. You come here a lot too, huh? Hey, are you a right kid, you know, money-wise? High school kids don't have much money, do they? At least I never gave much to my son. Um, let's see here. I think you want to say I have You want to say I have enough and not be interrupted by my phone. Is that right? Hmm, I guess you kids have ways to make money nowadays. Matatsu seems impressed. You're not doing anything illegal though, are you, kid? Not that I care. Now, give me a straight answer. Is there anything you want right now? Uh, I'm gonna say no. Hmm, don't tell me you've attained enlightenment at your age. Mitatsu is impressed. When I was a young man, I never had enough money to do to buy the things that I wanted. When you get to be my age, hmm, never mind. You work to make money so you can have a better life, but to make m enough money, you gotta work all the time. So you never get to enjoy that better life you're working so hard to have. Quite a paradox, isn't it? Do you know what the average lifetime income of a white collar worker is, including a retirement fund and an annual pension? <laughs> Speaking from the future, it's like, what's a pension? Tw 250 million yen. Hmm, that's not even enough. That's not even close to a lottery jackpot. Thanks to me, you learned something new today, eh kid? Now, don't waste your life working all the time trying to get rich. Just take life as it comes. You saw through Matatsu's harsh words and felt his kindness. You understand Mutatsu better now. Attention, not in this day and age. You are starting to get sleepy. I worked my ass off for a lousy, lousy 250 million yen, and for what? I wish I could buy back all the time I lost. You decided to go back to the dorm. Kind of a word of warning there from uh, the monk. That was actually a good one. Your trip to Yakushima begins today and lasts for four days, three nights. It's time for you to get ready. Oh, by the way, we are on the other side this time. Oh, this will be interesting. Inside the Yakushima bound ferry, you will soon arrive at Yakushima. Awesome! There it is! Yakushima! Wow, so many tropical plants. Wow, that was sarcastic. Huh. Take a look at that one. <sighs> But the atmosphere is still heavy. Um... It's totally amazing, huh? Man, this is so awesome! I'm not even kidding! Junpei-kun. <sighs> <laughs> He's trying his best. <laughs> the Kurijo Family Yakushima Mansion. Wow! It's like we're in an episode of Lifestyles of the Rich and Fabulous. Welcome, Welcome back, back milady. We won't be here long, but I'll be relying on you during our stay. You have maids? And you must be her schoolmates, correct? Welcome to the Kirijo Vacation Home. Please follow me. Um, is this the right place? Dude. Real life maids. She's rich, rich. I knew she was from an important family, but this definitely confirms it. Hmm. A man walked in from the far door. It's good to see you. So proper. Oh, he left. Was that her father? Dude, talk about scary. He's not going to make us walk the plank, is he? 
Because he's got only got one eye. Don't be stupid. Thank you, Akihiko. <laughs> we won't be here long, but make yourself at home. Sweet. This is gonna rock. Hey, you wanna go to the beach? It's right there. Dude, this place rules! Come on, let's go! What, already? I mean, sure, but let me get changed first. Then I'll see you there. I'm not gonna waste a single minute. Yakushima at the beach. The girls have yet to arrive. Uh, got my sandals on? Giving my feet a chance to breathe? Let those dogs breathe? Yep, summer's here! Darn, there's nothing out there I can use as a marker. Mm, too bad. I was hoping for a good swim. What's with that swimsuit? What about it? Dude, Speedos? <laughs> that tight fit's nasty, man. But they're better for swimming. You must be joking. We come all the way to the beach and you're gonna train? What's wrong with that? You got a better idea? Of course he does. Damn right I do. It's summertime at the beach. I've got the perfect activity. Oh, hey, they're here. What? Say hello to contestant number one, Yukari Takaba. As you can see, she's chosen a bold design, quite unexpected. It takes a lot of confidence to pull off a swimsuit like that. Is that umbrella taken? Oh, and here we have the lovely Miss Yamagishi. Wow, Fuka, I had no idea you were so... I mean... You should wear a swimsuit more often. Huh? Oh! oh, come on. There's nothing to be embarrassed about. <laughs> Stop that. Stop that creepy laugh, you perv. <laughs> Seriously. And here's our final contestant. Hmm? Is something wrong? Wow. Mitsura Senpai, you're beautiful. Yeah, your skin is flawless. Did you already put on sunscreen? No, not yet. What? <laughs> He's calling for me. Junpei is whispering to you. So, which one's your type? I have to choose one of these. Um, let's go with Mitsuru. Whoa, seriously? <laughs> you got balls, man. Man, this is great. I'm in heaven. It doesn't matter. How about a swim? Sure. Ba 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 ba! Charge! Whoa, I'm not letting you win that easy. You feel uneasy, as if someone is watching you. Whoa, it's cold! <laughs> the feeling subsided. All right, so we could talk to everybody and save here. Let's see what everyone has to say. Thank you so- Thank you, Mitsuro-senpai. Thank you so much. I could die right now with no regrets. Makoto-san, help! Chunpei-kun is eek! You like it. You like that, huh? No one can resist splashing girls at the beach. <laughs> I'm going to splash more water on you. You, hey, you're going to pay for that. Take this. Ah, this is such a nice place. Why does Stupe have to be here and spoil it all? You good? Everyone seems to be having fun. That's a good thing, I suppose. Our operations during the dark hour put a lot of stress on us. You should relax a little and rest up. Under that parasol is the optimal place. Yeah, it's a save point right there. Isn't this place nice? I came here often when I was young, but I don't remember it looking quite like this. Uh, I think there's really not much. There's a forest over here, and there is the summer home. You're leaving already. Yep. Aw, uh, you suck. Well, I'm gonna stay a little longer. Later, man. And that's to move on with the story. Meanwhile, at the entrance to the Carrijo Mansion. It's been a while. I'm glad that you're in good health. Our guests are residents of the dorm, I presume. I'm sorry for bringing such a crowd. I heard you told them about the incident. Why did you hide it so long? I wasn't hiding it. I've told you time and again. None of the blame is yours. But... Two in harmony surpasses one in perfection. That has been our guiding principle since the Kurijo family separated from the Nanjo group. Hmm. You must learn to trust in others, Mitsuru. There are things in this world that cannot be accomplished alone, no matter how many sacrifices you make. Yes, father. 
You accessed our database, didn't you? That's another thing. Why didn't you ask me directly instead of using this trip as an excuse? I'm... I'm sorry. Bring them here. All of them. I had no intention of concealing the truth from them. I've made preparations to disclose everything. Everything? There's a girl named Takaba in your group, correct? For her to awaken to her power, it must be fate. Father? The Kirijo Family Yakushima Mansion Reception Room. Everyone has gathered after a sudden invitation from Mitsuru's father, who, by the way, is cold as hell. Like, I don't consider my family to be understand. perfect, but damn, Mitsuru dude. Mitsuru has already given you the short version. Oh, yes. Well, it's true. We adults are to blame. If I could have atoned for it with my life, I would have done so. Now, I have no choice but to rely on you. What my father wanted to create with those monsters' power was a time manipulation device. That's what he was trying to do? Imagine, if you could control the flow of time, eliminate unwanted events before they occur. With such a device, you could shape the future to your liking. Damn, that's insane. However, under my father's direction, the research began to stray from its original goal. In his later years, my father seemed to have only nihilism in his heart. I mean, same, really. Now that I think about it, his madness may have resulted from his struggle to break free from that. It's only natural that you want to know the truth. And it's my duty to tell you. Old footage is being played on the large monitor in the room. What's this? This is the only existing footage of the accident. Recorded by a scientist who was at the scene. A video recording? It looks like the scene of the incident. The video quality is poor, making the shown man's face unrecognizable. I pray that this recording reaches safe hands. That voice! My employer has become obsessed with a loathsome idea. And this experiment should have never even been conceived. I'm afraid what I've done will result in an unprecedented disaster. But if I hadn't, the entire world may have paid the price. The entire world? Please, listen carefully. The shadows that were amassed here have been dispersed as a result of the explosion. To end this nightmare, you must eliminate all of them. I am to blame for this. I knew the risks, but I was blinded by the promise of success. And so I didn't raise any objections. It is all my fault. Huh? The man was visible on the screen for a brief moment, but the video ended after a large explosion. Dad? You mean... that was... Father. His name was Eiichiro Takaba. He was the head researcher at the time. A very talented man. But we are the ones who are responsible. We pushed him to continue the research. The Kirijo group is to blame for his death. I... I can't believe it. So, that means... My dad caused it all? The Dark Hour, Tartarus, the people who died in that incident? It was all his fault? Uh, you okay? Uh, no. So that's why you were hiding this? Because you felt sorry for me? Is that it? No, Takiba, I... I don't want your pity! I don't think anybody knew this. Yukari ran off. Takiba! Uh. Um... Shouldn't someone go after her? <sighs> Yuki. Please, go after her. Yes, ma'am. Uh, sure. Thank you. You decided to head after Yukari. You don't really get a choice in the matter. I believed in him for so long. Oh, this is too much. You found Yukari standing at the beach.
Yuki-kun. Remember what I told you at the hospital? Yes. How my dad died when I was little? You understand now, right? He died in that incident. Nobody knew the truth, so there were all sorts of rumors. Because he was in charge of the research team, people were really mean to me and my mom. We even had to move a few times. Oh, that must have been tough. Yeah. But all this time, I kept telling myself it wasn't his fault. I loved him a lot, and I believed he'd never do anything wrong. I received a letter back in the spring. It was from him, written ten years ago. It cracked me up, because even though it said to my family, it was pretty much all about me. That only made me believe in him more. When I found out I had a special power, I thought it was fate. I was scared. But I thought if I cooperated with the Kirijo group, I might find out what really happened. That's why I agreed to fight using my persona. But it turns out, all of that was for nothing. Mm, I don't think that's true. <laughs> You're just trying to make me feel better. Why does reality have to be so harsh? I tried so hard to fight my fear, and this is what I get. Maybe I'm just jealous of Mitsuru Senpai. I mean, why my father and not hers? <laughs> I'm a horrible person, aren't I? Nah, don't blame yourself. Huh, well you're just Mr. Perfect. Nothing ever phases you. And now you've got the nerve to try and tell me how to feel? Oh, okay, I guess that was the wrong answer. Stop acting like you have all the answers. You don't know anything. I don't. I have death inside me at this point. I'm sorry. My head's a mess. I'm so afraid. I don't know what to do anymore. I'm totally lost. Tell me. What should I do? Oh, now you want me to know. Um... The, the, don't lose hope. That's what you the... You mean... That's it. Keep believing? Yes. You know... You really are one of a kind. Uh, I'm sorry for acting like this. You've lost your parents, too. Coincidentally, in the same period of time. Hmm. But I'm all right now. I'm used to dealing with stressful situations. Anyway, thanks for listening. No problem. Let me guess. Senpai asked you to bring me back, right? No. I came because I wanted to. Ooh, you're such a gentleman. <laughs> Thanks. Yukari is smiling with teary eyes. Uh, let's go ahead and give her a hug. You put your arms around Yukari's shaking shoulders. Hey! Caught by surprise, Yukari pushed you away. <sighs> Sheesh! What's taking you so long? Everybody's waiting. It's almost the dark hour, so you should get back. Huh? Oh yeah, that's right. Hmm? Um, did I miss something? Nope. I almost forgot. It doesn't matter where you are when the dark hour comes. Sheesh, it's just common sense. Even I remembered. You know, I've been thinking lately. Once you awaken to the power of Persona, you remember everything that happens during the Dark Hour. It's like trading away your innocence. In exchange for power, you can no longer look away from the things you don't want to see. So, I guess I'm stuck with you guys, huh? Yep. Yep. <laughs> now that that's settled, let's get back. You feel as if you were being watched. Huh. Regardless, you decided to return. The sun dappled y Yakusugi Forest. Holy crap. Welcome back. <sighs> the air is so fresh. I'm, I'm tuned in again. I never thought a walk in the woods could be so enjoyable. You can't do this in Iwatodai. Not that I was completely out of touch, but... Oh, this is still awkward, huh? Oh, so listen to this. Junpei was acting like such a pervert yesterday, and I didn't know how to react. It's probably a good thing we came out here by ourselves. Huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, God. 
Mitsuru received an incoming call on her phone. Mitsuru speaking. One moment, let me switch over to speakerphone. Please continue. Well, I'm at the lab here on the island. And a machine that was considered inoperable suddenly left the facility on its own. A machine? What kind of machine is it? I need detailed information to locate anything other than shadows. It's a combat vehicle, an anti-shadow weapon to be precise. A combat vehicle? You mean like a tank? We gotta let the others know. Where's my cell? We're not currently with the others, so it might take some time for us all to assemble. I see. Well, regardless, I want you to handle this as soon as possible. I'm on my way there now. If the target cannot be captured, do we have permission to destroy it? <laughs> I highly doubt you'll be able to destroy it. What? Then how are we supposed to stop it? Just do your best. I'll call you again later. Kutsuki ended the call. Oh, gosh. Great. No one's answering. Don't worry about it. Let's go back and get our equipment. Then we can have Yamagishi's persona scan the area. Although this island is quite large. Jeez, where could they be? Yeah, what could we possibly be doing? The guys arrived at the beach. I'm included in this one this time. The girls are nowhere to be found. Huh? Are the girls not up yet? Man, what lazy bones. The ocean's not gonna sit around and wait for us, you know? You're right. Once the sun sets, the water temperature drops, tiring you out much faster. Huh? Uh, I guess. Is that what you're worried about? <laughs> yes. That reminds me. One of the maids gave me a letter as we were leaving. Well, hey, Junpei! Junpei snatched away the letter Akihiko was holding in the blink of an eye. Ah, no buts! I ain't letting any love letters from a lovely maid slip through my fingers. Ah, oh, how dumb can you get? Ah, let's see here. This says we've gone to see the Joman cedar tree. Huh? It looks like Fuka's handwriting. Oh, man. We're at an island resort in the middle of summer. Why don't they go to the beach? Probably because of you. That's just not right. Well, it is your fault. What do you mean? I, I just wanted to lighten up the mood. I don't want to hear it. Well, it doesn't matter anyway. We're on our own now. Just the guys. If you're out of ammo, you pick it up on the battlefield. That's one of the most basic military tactics. R okay. We'll call this Operation Babe Hunt. What? Babe Hunt? You mean, like, pick up girls? What do you think, Akihiko-san? With you on the squad, we're guaranteed to succeed. Akihiko is clearly hesitant. What do you think about this? Um... It sounds like a hassle. Yeah, you're right. It does sound like a hassle. Well, then, what are we gonna do the rest of the day? Come on, guys! It'll be fun! It's never fun. Then I'm appointing him our leader, as usual. Ha! <laughs> what? Why? You said yourself this is an operation. Aw, oh, man, that's bullshit! You better take this seriously. It's an important operation. Okay, so, as usual... Really? This music? All right, let's go talk to these girls. Beep, 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 target confirmed. Let's move in for the kill. This is my area of expertise, so listen up. First off, think of something to talk about, something they might be interested in. Give them an easy question to get the ball rolling. That's the golden rule. Something like, where are you from, or having fun? Pretty soon you'll be tossing questions and answers back and forth like you're playing catch. I'll start things off and you can ask the questions, all right? Here we go. Hey, ladies. So, where are you from? your business. Hey, no need to be shy. We don't bite. Why should we tell you? Come on, cut us some slack. We just want to talk. I thought you said you were an expert. Hold your horses. I'm just getting warmed up. Watch and learn. So ladies, are you in college? Um, don't tell me you guys are still in high school. Uh, nope, not us. Seriously? You sure look like high schoolers from here. Sorry, that's a lie. Oh, really? High school kids vacationing in Yakushima? That kind of pisses me off. Well, we were invited to our friend's vacation home. Pretty cool, huh? Good on your friend. We, on the other hand, had to pay for our vacation with our hard-earned money. I guess we were just lucky? Yeah, lucky you. What do you want, anyway? Uh, we came... <laughs> Let's just say we came to hit on you. <laughs> You're pretty bold. Hey, stop giving them compliments and just ignore them. Wait, don't do that. How can you blame us for wanting to talk to such beautiful women? 
<sighs> These guys are full of shit. Yeah, let's get out of here. Wait! Come on, give us a chance. How about a walk on the beach? You're annoying. See ya, boys. So much for your expertise. Hey, I did my best. What about you, senpai? You think you can do better? Come on, show us what you got. Why should I? Well, you're supposed to be a tactical master, right? And it not it our duty to help each other succeed? succeed? I guess you have a point there. Fine, I'll give it a shot. I'm sure I'll do better than you. Can you give me a hand, Makoto? I'll set the pace, of course. Okay, so those guys are gone, so let's come talk to you. Wait a minute. Hey, Commander, look, there's a lady all, all alone. That means she's waiting for someone to hit on her. We're guaranteed some success on this one. Hey, cutie pies, it is her! Holy crap, she's from Persona 4. I didn't realize that she was in this one. Oh, my controller's been disconnected. I got too excited. Hey, cutie pies, hey, can I help you? Uh, hello, hello. Excuse us, we're looking for the restroom. Hey, Yuki. She's pretty old up close. Let's stop this. Hey, what are you whispering about? What? Uh, uh, you guys are in high school, aren't you? Yes, you have a very good eye. I can't help it. My job. Well, that's not important. Do you guys want to have some fun? Oh, uh, that's not right, is it? I mean, our ages. What? Akihiko-san, it's your turn. It was your turn anyway, and you're closer to in age to her. Uh, oh. Well, <laughs> you have a nice body. You're thin, yet muscular. Hmm. I choose you. You want to go on a vacation to the world of romance with me? Uh, not real. Hey, <laughs> you're gonna have to keep this a secret from everybody else. Hey, hey, don't touch me. Danger is creeping upon Akihiko. Let's, uh, order a retreat. We just remembered something we have to do. Let's go, Akihiko-san. Sure thing. Aw, why? That was close. <laughs> I can't believe she was here. Let's see here. We have uh, somebody over here as well. There's a woman all alone. I hope we don't have an experience like last time. <laughs> it's okay. What are the odds of it happening again? And I feel success in the air this time. Excuse me, miss. Hello, can I help you? Oh, she's hot. Uh, are you all alone? Yeah, I'm so bored. And I've been spying on you. You've been trying to pick up girls for a while. How did you do? Uh, mission failed. That's what I thought. You guys don't understand women at all. Uh, oops. You and the hat, you're way too wrapped up in yourself. You don't think for about doing anything for the girl to make her feel special. Yes, ma'am. You and the t-shirt, you're the stoic type, but not very experienced around girls. You may be right. Or rather, you seem like someone who's too much of a hassle to be with, like you're super logical about everything. Well... And you with the long hair. I'm not sure about you. Uh, hey, don't hold back. <laughs> I mean, you're mysterious. You've got that whole androgyny thing going on. You know what I mean? Mm, yeah. Aw, you're so smart. Mm -hmm, I think you're my type. Hey, wait a second. Just joking. I like you a lot, too. Really? Do you want me to teach you how to make me feel special? Yes, ma'am. But there's three versus one is too much. Can I pick one? I want someone fun and with a big heart. Um, how about Junpei? Yeah, nice choice. But, hmm, there's something that's been bothering me for a while. Yes? What is it? It's just, there's something on your chin there. What? What? Did I miss a spot? Are you? Ah, there goes my chance. I was so close to snagging myself a little boy toy. This can't be happening. Maybe it was too early for you boys anyway. Hey, <laughs> come see me when you're ready to have your horizons broadened. She's, uh... This sucks. Not. We're 0 for 3. <sighs> What's wrong? I thought you weren't interested in picking up chicks. If I'm in a match, I want to win. <laughs> <sighs> I know what our problem is. You can't control yourself. What? Don't blame this on me. I'm just stating the obvious. But you haven't scored either. Why do you always gotta be so logical, even in front of babes? It doesn't make any sense. What did you just say? <laughs> Jimmy and Akihiko continue bickering. Enough already. Leader, whose fault do you think it is? It's probably mine. I think it's both of you. I won't accept a stalemate. It's either him or me. Yeah, this is serious. Now tell us who's 
<sighs> What's the matter? You see something? Hey! I don't think that's a human. She does not look like one. Whoa! Talk about saving the best for last. Now that's what I'm talking about. Man, she's cute. I agree. This is our last chance to make up for failures. But this time we should try one by one instead of all together. We'll have a better shot that way. You sure? Sounds like a good plan. All right, then let's decide the order. We'll go clockwise, starting with the winner. Ready? Rock, paper, scissors. The uh, scissors. You lost. Yeah! I, I don't win. think it matters. Okay, I'll go first. Akihiko-san will go second, and you'll go last. I'm up. Wish me luck. Hey, how's it going? I noticed you've been uh, staring at the ocean. So, um, do you come here often? My name's J J Junpei. Ju Ju Junpei? Oh, don't worry, I I just want to talk. I mean, I mean, it's more fun than standing here all by yourself, isn't it? I am looking for a human. Uh, oh yeah? <laughs> you are not the one. <laughs> Wow, he got shot down faster than I expected. She's a tough one, senpai. <laughs> Don't worry about me. Wow, hello there. Say, uh, do you like the ocean? Is your question directed at me? Oh, um, uh, yeah. I, I like the ocean, too. Hey, I heard that triathletes who train at the beach perform better than those who practice indoors. Nice. Makes sense, doesn't it? That type of information is irrelevant to me. Ouch. <laughs> Sorry. The, the, the <laughs> expression won. changed. I talked to her longer than you did. It doesn't matter how long you talk to her. <sighs> Ugh, this sucks. <laughs> hey, stop crying. You're making me feel bad. So, that's our status. If you can't pull this off, I'm gonna be traumatized for the rest of my life. Why? We're on the ropes, but it's not over yet. So in the the female's um, main characters, uh, she wanders off at this point and comes to find the female main character, but we're already it's here. It's all up to you now. All right, okay. What will you say to her? Um. Good afternoon. You are... It doesn't matter what you say. I, I couldn't hear what he said, but she looks surprised. We should go over there. Initiating evasive maneuver. Confirmation must be made at a secure location. Excuse you? The girl ran into the forest. Hey, what did you say to make her run away like that? Well, what are you waiting for? Go after her! Why, why? Um... But it wasn't my fault. Go tell her you're sorry. If you don't, we'll all be in trouble. Go on, man. You can catch her if you hurry. You decided to chase after the girl into the forest. What a dumb suggestion. Never chase after a woman if she runs away from you. Because you would be dumb. So we're in the forest now. We're in the J Jomon Sugi Forest. You lost sight of the girl. Huh? It feels as if someone is watching you. You see the mysterious girl. She must be the one who has been watching you. Uh, let's approach her. I was correct. I have found you. Excuse you? She threw her arms around you. I have been searching for you. My highest priority is to be with you. It doesn't seem like she wants to let go. What? I can't believe this! <laughs> What's going on? He didn't even say anything to her. Junpei and Akihiko have arrived. Even then, it doesn't seem like she plans on letting go. There you guys are. What are you doing here? We've been looking all over for you. The girls have arrived as well. Um... What are you doing in the middle of the woods, in your swimsuits? You have no idea what we've... Huh? Who's this? I don't know. And 
Why is she hugging you? Good question. Listen, we've encountered a problem. I'm sorry to interrupt your vacation, but I need you all to go back to the house and prepare for battle. That won't be necessary. We found what we were looking for. Even Akutsuki has arrived. What do you mean? Oh, you had me worried. You don't have permission to leave the lab on your own, I guess. I know. The girl answered while still hugging you. Did, did we have to pry her off? The Kurijo family Yakushima mansion reception room. I apologize for all the trouble. Everything is under control now. So what happened to capturing the tank? Oh, that's been taken care of. I think the tank captured me. Come here, I guess. Coming. The girl you just met walked in. This is Igis. As you can see, she's a mechanical maiden. I am Igis. My mission is to destroy shadows. I have been assigned to seize, effective immediately. <sighs> no way. It's like she's alive. This is unbelievable. She's so cute, but she's a robot. <laughs> Anti-shadow <laughs> weapons were created so ten years ago <laughs> to combat uncontrollable shadows. Igust was the last to be made, and she's the only one that still remains today. An anti-shadow weapon? Does that mean she... Yes, I am capable of operating the persona Palladian. She suffered major damage in combat and has remained in the lab ever since. It's still unclear as to why she suddenly reactivated herself this morning. Well, I hope you will all get along. An anti-shadow weapon with a will of her own? This is amazing! Um, by the way, when we first saw you, you were hugging him, right? Do you know him? Yes, it is very important for me to be by his side. Hmm, perhaps her identification system is malfunctioning. Or maybe she's still half asleep. This is quite interesting. Hmm. I don't think it's that. Well, I can ponder this later. Oh, I forgot to tell you all. You can participate in a wide range of recreational activities here. There's a tennis court, a pool table, even a karaoke machine. Would you care to hear me sing? <laughs> no. What was that hee hee at the end there? Uh. What? No, explain the hee hee. Day three of your vacation in Yakushima. You came to the beach with everyone, including Igus. Man, it's already the third day of our trip. It's too bad we have to go home tomorrow. I'd totally stay longer if I could. But I can't complain. A lot of cool things happened while we were here. How can he be so full of energy? Right? We were all up so late last night. Do we have a mission at the beach today? Oh, right. I guess it's not human at all at this point. Nah, it's nothing like that. We just came here to have some fun. Do you understand what it means to have fun, I guess? Of course. Recreation is the refreshment of one's mind and body. Exactly. Wow, you sure know a lot about us humans. All right, let's take one last dip before we leave. Junpei ran to the water's edge, dragging Igus along. Uh, hold on, Junpei-kun. Is it okay for Igus to go in the ocean? Oh, I'm sure she's waterproof. I don't, I don't like that phrasing. Only Igus returned. What's wrong, Igus? It is best that we all engage in this activity together. An activity in which only one person derives enjoyment is not the optimal method to have fun. Ugh, do we have to? Despite her words earlier, Yukari is having fun in the water with Igis. We should join them. Okay. Fuka and Mitsuru also joined in. Oh my god. I'm just having issues with the controller today, guys. Sorry. Akutsuki arrived. Are you enjoying yourself? I don't know. We've been quite busy during our time here, but it looks as if we can relax a bit today. I hope so. Hey, Akihiko-san, come on! It's your turn! My turn? What are they doing? 
<laughs> I'm glad to see everyone is having so much fun. I've already told you what time the ship will be arriving tomorrow, yes? I'll most likely head over to the port early, so don't be late. Okay, I'll let everyone know. We can get back down to business again once we're back at the door. Got it. Makoto! Hey, Akihiko Senpai! This again? I guess we should go too. I guess wait! That's not what water gun means! <laughs> Junpei Kun is down! <laughs> All right, here's our chance for an all-out attack. Uh, let's attack. Whoa, 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 time out! I seriously can't take much more of this! You had a fun time with your friends at Yakushima. With Igus joining, things are likely to get livelier. All right. Well, I guess we get a random social link in the middle of this, so that's nice, I guess. Oh, and now uh, party members can take a mortal blow for you in battle, so that's good. Because uh, if your main character goes down in this game, the whole party is done. Yakushima vacation has ended and you return to the dormitory. Late night at the Tatsumi Port Island back alley. The punks at the hangout are whooping it up as usual. Shinjiro is sitting by himself, away from the group. <sighs> <laughs> Three dark figures approach Shinjiro. You seem to be in great pain. Oh god, this guy. You guys. Ah shit, it's them. You mean those three? Wow, they're freaky. Shut up, let's go! The punks left the hangout. Why do they always run and hide when I approach? They're like back alley rats. Beats me. Jin, give him the capsules. <laughs> the smart looking guy handed Shinjiro something. Thanks. I'll pay you the same as... Hold up. This time information will suffice. Your acquaintances have been busy lately. I'm referring to their activities on nights when the moon is full. They spent a great deal of time in the tower as well. Why did they take this burden upon themselves? <laughs> you do know, don't you? But you don't wish to say. Is it because they are your friends? No, I've got nothing to do with them. Then tell us. Wouldn't you agree these pills are more important than a bunch of strangers? Huh. I don't know the details, but... Supposedly, if you destroy all those creatures, then the tower will disappear, and with it, the Dark Hour. You mean... They intend to eliminate the Dark Hour? Why would they do such a thing? With the power they have... What? They wish to destroy the Tower of Demise as well? Tower of Demise? Who wouldn't want to take out that damn tower? Easy, Takaya. Yes. Yes. The three left. <laughs> I can't go back. Not after what happened. Man, I'm beat. It seemed to take forever to get back. Yeah, it was a tiring trip. Please rest up so you're ready for the next operation. Yeah, yeah. I don't have any plans for summer break, so I can fight shadows all you want. Wow, you must be really bored. Shut up, Yucatan. Whatever. We just have to defeat those last six and it'll all be over. The loss will get better and everything will be back to normal, right? That's why we have to try our hardest. Okay, and yeah, we could totally just like do that. Or alternatively, we can head out and go to the Polonia Mall. I don't know what you're thinking, but here we are. Let's go ahead and hang out with Mutatsu today. Oh, it's you. Hey, can you help me out, kid? I don't feel so good. Damn it, I can't believe I let this happen. Ugh, I'm in bad shape. 
All right, you say, you should go home. Yeah, you're right, kid. I should go home and sleep. Mitatsu agreed with you. But even if I go home, I completely forgot I have a memorial service to conduct. Reciting the Heart Suture with a hangover? Ugh. Before, no matter how much I drank, all I needed was a cold shower to snap out of it. Guess I'm getting old. <laughs> it's time like these, I wish I didn't live alone. Uh, what about the others? Others? <laughs> you mean other monks? My temple's small and I don't depend on nobody but myself, so I'm the only one there. Mutatsu has a bitter smile on his face. If you think about it, living alone's probably the best thing a person can do. You don't have to wait for someone else to get out of the bathroom when you need to go. My son took forever in there. Yeah, living alone is the way to achieve peace and serenity. All things visible are bound to change and disappear. All things in this world are not singular. They're all smaller parts of a bigger picture. And yet, they're all different from each other. All things in this world are unique. To put it simply, no matter how hard you try to live your life right, someone else can always mess it up. All things are unique, yet they are not singular. Maybe you've messed up my life too, a bit too. Heh. <laughs> you saw through Mutatsu's harsh words and felt his kindness. You understand Mutatsu better now. You were getting sleepy. I'm going home, kid. My head's killing me. Oh yeah, about the memorial service? The kid was only 19. A random murder victim. What a harsh world we live in. You be careful on your way home t Okay, kid. Okay, I will be. You decided to go back to the dorm. Words are moving around on the screen a lot today. <laughs> Love that. Good morning. Oh, God. Please wake up. No. You've awakened safely. Mission complete. Um, why are you here? My highest priority is to be by your side. Hey, are you awake? That girl disappeared, and we can't find her anywhere. Think you can help us out? I think I found her. She might have gone out on her own, like she did in Yakushima. I am not a girl. I am Igis, and I am here. Huh? H I guess. How did you... He was asleep, so I unlocked the door. That's unlawful entry. Didn't we tell you to stay in the command room at night? I propose to be on standby in this room from now on. Is this acceptable? No! Where is this coming from all of a sudden? If there is a problem, then I will address it promptly. Uh, the problem is, it's against dorm regulations. Well, don't just sit there. Tell her. <laughs> you can't stay here. See? He agrees. I want my alone time, thanks. I will comply. Oh, well. I'll have a room prepared for you on the third floor so you can stay nearby. Oh, and don't leave the dorm by yourself, okay? I will do as commanded. <sighs> I'm tired. I have practice this morning, so I gotta go. Kari shrugged and left. Everyone goes to a place called school in the morning. I comprehend. I guess nodded to herself. Exam results will be posted today. All right, well, let's uh, head to school. Hey, the results are posted. You decided to go look at the exam results. We should be top of the class. Um, you scored the highest in your class. Everyone is looking at you with respect because we're maxed out. So, um, we can talk to Mitsuru for a thing, but we have maxed out academics due to this being New Game Plus, so we're good. Okay, let's take a pause here, and, um, next time we've got more social links going on. We have more things to do before we go into Tartarus, so we'll be doing that, like, a whole bunch of stuff before doing that next time. I will see you guys then.